When you open up a new note in Google Keep, it's pretty plain. You can start typing a title and your items. But that doesn't look very appealing. Yes, there are some color coding and some things you can do to make it pretty. But I can show you how to change your Google Keep headers from looking like this to this in just a few easy steps. So one way you can create a template is in Google Drawings. It doesn't take a lot of time and it's very easy to do. I already have a template that I'm gonna put in the description of this video that you can use. It's already made for you, you can just edit the text and your image. So what I would like to do first is edit this text. So I'm gonna say this is groceries and maybe I want to change this font. So I'm going to change it to this one and just play around with it, see what looks good to you. Maybe center this a little bit. Now if I double click on the word and then click format options, I can look at the, the options on the side and if I click drop shadow, it gives me a little bit of a shadow underneath groceries. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty subtle. But depending on what you like, you could make this as uh, the shadow as transparent or as sharp as you would like. Now also for this, I'm gonna give it a background color. Let's say I'm going to make this background, we'll just say yellow for now. So there you can kind of see the drop shadow a little bit easier. So that looks good to me. Now. Let's say I want to put an image here right next to my heading. A great website for this is Flat Icon. It is a website that offers free icons for you to use. There is a subscription option which gives you more options, but they have plenty of good ones that are free also. So if my heading is groceries, I wanna look for a groceries theme, right? So for groceries, let's just say I want to, I can scroll down and look for something that appeals to me. This one looks pretty cute. So I'm going to download this or I can also right click, copy image, go back into my heading and paste. And then I can move it wherever I want and resize. So let's say this looks pretty good to me. Actually, I'm just gonna move this over just a little bit. And there it is. Okay, so once I have my heading, I can download it. And I'm gonna download it as, you can either do it as a JPEG or a PNG. I'm gonna download it as a JPEG. And then when I open up my Google Keep, I'm gonna get rid of the title that I wrote there. And I'm going to upload the picture I just took. You can either drag and drop it from where you have it or you can upload it. So I'm gonna add image. I know for, a, for sure that this is gonna be in my downloads. So I'm going to select it and there you go. Now, if you are not a fan of the fonts of Google Drawings, another thing you could do is you can use PowerPoint and it's basically the same idea. Um, just create your header shape and then just customize it with the fonts and images that you want.
there you go. That is two different ways you can create a custom Google Keep header. Have fun.